This video is about high order differential equation of binomial theorem. We have to find y. y is our complete solution. y has two parts, yc and yp. yc is complementary function, yp is particular integral. y is equal to yc plus yp. For yc, there are three cases. First is real, first, second is real and for repeated roots and third is uh, imaginary roots. Here lambda equals to roots. Now, for yp, uh, we have this equation. A function x equals to xm x is some equation. Now, we have a question, second derivative y plus 6 dy plus dy over dx plus 4y equals to x square plus 1. Let d over dx equals to d. So the equation can write it like this. Take y common. Now we have this equation. We know that y equals to yc plus yp. Say it is equation 1. For yc we have to find roots. Lambda. For roots, we take this for equals to 0. Say it is fd. We can find roots by using coordinate equation. We can uh, find roots by factorization, by, by calculator. So I apply a coordinate equation. Here is coordinate equation. Then I solve it and get two roots, that is minus 0.7639 and minus 5.236. Now, y is equal to c1e, that is root, minus 0.7639x and plus c2e power minus 5.236x. Now for yp, yp equals 1 over f d xm. We know that f d is this far and xm is this far. Now take the lowest degree term, common, so that we can make first from 1. If we take, here is d power 0, so we take 4 common here. When we take 4 common, this equation is like this, and then we rearrange it, we write it, write it like this. Now take the this part in numerator. So our equation becomes this. We can apply a binomial theorem for negative index in this equation. We have binomial, we know that binomial theorem is 1 plus 6 square power minus 1 uh, equals to this. So when we apply binomial theorem, it is applied like this yp equals 1 over 4, 1, and it is. Um, but we don't have to use power 1, then square, and 3. We have to see that here is x square, which meaning that it can be derived 3 times only. After 3 times, it will be 0. And the term will always become 0. We expand it and it will become this. We know that if we derive it 2 times, we got this. If we derive it at 1 time, we got 3 over 2x. And after this, 9 over 2. And all other powers are 0. Now, we, got, we just, uh, we just uh, solve it. Now call equation 1 and substitute value of y, c, and y, p in equation 1. And we will call our solution, that is y equals to c1 e power minus 0.7639x plus c2 e power minus 5.236x plus 5 over 4 plus 38x. This is our final solution and this is it. Thank you and surprise.